after we end up at our destination If you're looking for a laugh Or you just need to smile Whatever that you need to make you laugh out loud It's the Creatives Podcast Listen, it's the Creatives Podcast Yeah, yeah, yeah Damn, it's hot in this Yo, 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 man, welcome to episode eight of the Creatives Podcast. I am Reese. It's your boy, D. Rick. And we got our hoodies on. Ah. Normally I do a whole bunch of talking, but I'm going to get straight to the freestyle. That old stupid ass shit. You that boy DJ Chop a lot nasty. Shout out DJ Chop a lot, man. That don't stand for Houston. That stand for hoodie. Hoodie. Hoodie gang. Hoodie gang. I want you to harmonize on that hoe, D. Harmonize on that bit. Let me see what I can do. Chilling with my slime. Chilling with my slime. Yeah, we going live. Yeah, we on live. Chilling with my slime. Ten toes going live. Hoodie gang. Hey, hold up, it's that boy Reese. I got my damn hoodie. Look, I done came down, it's real hot, but I'm all good. <laughs> Coming on the slam. I don't know what I said. <laughs> I done came down, I'm real hot on my head. <laughs> 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 I'm Oh, shit. Stupid. I thought this nigga was on fire. Bro, it's hot in this bitch. Take this shit off, man. Hey, we ain't got no haircut. You gotta put your hood in. Fuck that. Them smooth. niggas have seen this fucked up edge up. Yeah, I hope y'all didn't see the head. Being silly, are we? Being silly. Hey, you know what's crazy? What's I ain't press record. That hoe ain't getting none of that audio. Bruh. You went smooth over there and was touching stuff. That's recording. That's recording. This is not. Uh, but it was something that was moving. I think because I pressed. Well, it's the mic probably. Nah, it was me. It didn't do the beeping. Oh, it Murray didn't do the beep. <sighs> Damn, run that shit back. Look, we didn't did the freestyle. That hoe was caught on the external mic on the camera, so that's how that hoe gonna stay. Ah. Fuck. <laughs> In today's news, hot boy twerk. Ah. Oh, In the words of twerk, excuse me. Might as well call it twerk or call him twerk. <laughs> I find you sexy. Watch out, bro. In the words of Turk, that boy said that that's okay. Now look, we didn't all play them little. You got the pause. You play you got the, the no homo. You play all that shit. Every group of dudes, y'all done did that shit. You done even when you was in high school, you pulled a nigga shorts down. Yeah. Whoa. That's. Oh, like when we play football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you yeah, in the gym, you football. pull down somebody's yeah. shorts. Ah ha! Look at his wee wee. That's them games that he's talking about. <laughs> we didn't say you, but didn't. we never. I ain't never called another man sexy and was playing. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's. And out I was of never serious. <laughs> that's, out, <laughs> I never that's, that's out of bounds, right there. Yeah, like that's not. But you know, New Orleans dudes got a different way of uh, like talking, like their culture, like just the way they say certain stuff. Like True. to me, True. it. Like, you, you know, I went to Cali, right? And, like, if you say, if you call somebody a weirdo, those are, like, shoot you words. Not fighting words. Yeah, That's, you, you get shot. But over here, you call somebody a weirdo, that ain't, it's just, that ain't as bad as calling them a, you know, a bitch or, right, 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 or something right, like right, that right, or whatever. Right, right, right. So he said, so what, it was on what, Vlad? It was on Vlad TV. And he was talking about how, you know, Birdman, like, they everybody played them little, he called it the little gay boy games or whatever. I, 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 the caption said that I don't know what he called it. He just when he was saying he was saying 
all dudes got them gay games they play. Yeah, those like gay games. Like, just when you word it like that. Yeah, it just. And look, I ain't against nobody. LGBTQ barbecue. I fuck. I fuck with you. All right. I ain't got no problem with you. So don't the baby me. You know me. I be freestyle talking about <laughs> fucking with them dykes. So. Damn, yeah. all them endorsement deals you got out the window. Shit. Nah, they, the LVG you might fuck with me, but uh, fam, he said, so he said that, and then I saw a video where that nigga Kevin Gates was like, yeah, man, it's my nigga twerk. Wow. He kissed that nigga. <laughs> this man wants to illustrate man, man, this. You, you sexy, bro. Chill, bro. But bro, like he kissed that man on the cheek. And Damn! <laughs> Bro, I don't care how cool he is. I all that love shit. Don't kiss me on the cheek. Yeah, man. that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I kiss, bro, if I kissed you on the cheek, bro, I think that might be the first time you you gonna you either gonna push like, me or you ain't gonna fuck with me for at least two weeks. Yeah, bro, like that's that's out of bounds. Like you you can't explain that now. <clears throat> you know you gotta look at the culture and where it's at. Cause I mean, like, if I'm not mistaken, like. Like Italian people, you know how they greet yeah, each other. Yeah, they yeah. boom, boom. You know, it's just if that's your culture, how you do it, then that's how they do it. It's it's, it's their form of greeting. But if you you know, nigga over in the U.S., man, watch out, man. Like, <laughs> like, you, like we can't do that. You man. can't have a video talking about gay boy games. They have Kevin Gates put his booty lickers on you. Oh man. <laughs> and then uh, what did he do? Uh, what else? What else did he do? Who didn't he try to Sorry? like? Yeah, what else did he say? Well, I think the the next part was he tried to explain it, talking about no, he, he cheated or something. Like he that. so Turk, you know, Turk was locked up for a minute, right? And so Vlad, he told Vlad that he had been cheating on his wife while he was in jail. Now, to my knowledge, when you're in jail, you're around a bunch of niggas, and I would assume he was talking about either prison women guards coming up, you know, he fucking the right, guards right. or, you know, he having conjugal visits with other females or, you know, sometimes you ain't even got to have sex to cheat. You can just, you know, cause you know, you know, when people locked up, man, they be hungry, they be broke. So them niggas will fuck with people on the outside, like them chicks that's easy to manipulate and get them to send them bread, send them like whatever they need to survive mm -hmm. or whatever. And she, to do that, you got to make them feel like you in love with them mm -hmm. and this and that. So, and that's the that's thing. a that's a that's a form of cheating, and but, but which that's what makes it so tough for us to figure out because he didn't clarify, so he just said cheating. So what? Well, I guess Vlad to get to that, we didn't say Vlad said. Well, just to clarify, uh, you were talking about women, right? And then Turk was just like, "Look, man, I was just in there cheating." So right. He didn't clarify, and, and so that's what I'm talking. Like, I'm glad you explained it, so that way they got the layout. He didn't clarify it. So, quite naturally, me, and I'm pretty sure some of y'all, when y'all see that caption or hear it, the first thing y'all think, okay, if you cheating and you locked up, first thing you're going to think, I, he, he cheating with other dudes? or You know what I'm saying? So, he didn't clarify as to what I assume, exactly. I assume female. But then when that's Vlad, what I thought. That's when what Vlad I asked him to try to make sure so no one could manipulate the clip or whatever, right. he dug a deeper hole. He did. Literally. <laughs> but he <laughs> <laughs> he dug in a but, deeper hole. And I, like I was telling Reese, right after that, that's when he gave a shame, when he gave a plug on his book. Yeah, because he said he got a book, so he got a book. So I'm like, okay, maybe he just trying to build up a buzz to help push that book. Cause you know some people are gonna be like, oh shit, I gotta see what this nigga talking about. Let me go get this book, man. Let me go. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, as far as a marketing move, he may he may have made a marketing move to push his book. I wouldn't do that, but yeah, nigga, I'm finna uh, find that book online, skim to page thirty-seven, <laughs> and see if he said the prison guard female came into my my uh, my dwelling. He got he gonna go in the table of contents and look for the chapter that says cheating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, go but, to. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like if that's me, that's not the type of I could do without that type of. Bro, he has such. He probably has such a good story. And stuff that he knows about cash money and stuff, that's not the thing you gotta say. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong. Yeah. Look, if you straight, but you fucking niggas in jail, like I feel sorry for the wife. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care what he was doing. If that's his lifestyle and that's how he wanna get down, cool. But if you got a wife and that's what you're doing, 
Like, Come on, man. Because I think that's the one thing that'll hurt a female the most besides, you know, you cheating on a chick with like an ugly girl or <laughs> somebody that's less than her or something that she views as less than her. But if you go to a nigga, it's like, what can this nigga do that I can't do Damn. for you? That would make, like if like if my wife went and got that, that cooter cat ate by some other cooter cat, like my feelings would be hurt. I'm like, dang, she with this pipe. <laughs> <laughs> getting purrs in that <laughs> and I already know she finna go off into that damn uh, Cindy's oh man <laughs> that sex store and get one of them damn uh, tripods out that hoe man hey he's married I can't come in on that so let that man have that that that, that topic damn well, look twerk uh, is, am I Turk look Turk this man finna have Turk and these folk coming at us, man. That ain't the uh, shit, man. Don't come for me, bro. Literally. <laughs> like, don't come for me like you was coming for, you know, hey. whoever you was cheating with. Hey, I'm out of there. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. That shit was crazy. What else had happened? Um, um, oh, I want to say, man, anybody that copped the shirt, I have sent your order out. I sent them out Tuesday. This will probably be dropping... What's today, Friday? Today is Friday the 19th. Today ain't Thursday? Today, th- today Thursday All right, the 19th. This will be, the podcast will be dropping tomorrow on YouTube. Mm-hmm. This is one of the shirts. The main hold it up. Hold it up. If you caught one, appreciate it. Then we had the... This is the one I got. I like this one. That's the main hold up. Oh. That's the modern day main hold up. So I do everything mainly, man. Like I had to go pick these up, package everything. So I'm gonna try to get my stuff like online, like on the website, to where y'all don't have to wait on me. Yeah. I can just give you the link. You can hit the link. If you want to cop some, everything you do will help us immensely. We won't have to be on our bootleg <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, make the stream like streamline the process. Yeah, like you know, stuff. And like, trust me, man. Everything that y'all, all those likes, everybody who spent some bread with me on the shirts, man. Like, I truly appreciate. It. Like, y'all don't know, yeah, cause like, and I always say, like, I'm not working right now. So any little dollar I get, any type of exposure that can help me maybe get to the bag later, I appreciate you. Absolutely. Salute, 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 salute. But speaking of support, them boys over in Afghanistan. Man. <laughs> Bruh, what's tripping me out? It seemed like that shit just, <clears throat> like, was it like some overnight coup type stuff? I should have researched it, so I'm sorry if I say something that's not knowledgeable or whatever. So yeah, feel free to I, let me know in the comments or whatever. But like, one, I just it seemed like it was overnight. And man, it just it just it just hit. I mean, they <clears throat> a lot of a lot of people that had family members that were you know veterans. Well, do you know exactly what happened? Like, well, the most that I know is that supposedly you know uh, uh, America trained Afghan and worked with them to help them build up uh, military strength that could be able to combat against the Taliban or whoever want to come at them. And I'm not sure of all the details, but all I know is that we didn't pull troops up out of there and the Taliban is running havoc through that mug. I mean, My thing I, is, I is, heard about them having to lift U.S. citizens up out of the embassy through helicopter or something like that. Like, I didn't know that. Like, they fucking some shit up over there. I didn't... I'm, I'm trying to figure out how... How we over there that long, and then like overnight, well, and, these niggas come out of everywhere. When that's the thing, a, 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 like, I, like I was saying, a lot of a lot of people uh, are like they're upset and pissed off, man, because they, you know, this we've been over, this been years, yeah. And so they had family members over there that lost limbs, then died, have served their country to put not only the U.S. but Afghanistan in a better position, and then just like that, it's like. People feeling like, well, damn, did our people just die for nothing? Yeah. Did they just die in vain? Did they yeah. go through all this it's tragedy? It's a mix, man. It's a mix. It's, now, it's, now we don't. And like, I, I don't know, man. I'm twisted on it because one, I be feeling like we need to concentrate on America. We be too concentrated. Like every time something happens, we want to go save. And like, I'm look, look, that's the right thing to do. But also, you know, yeah. in the U.S., we be doing shit with other motives. Well, that's a topic so, that's been discussed for years about. You know, we too busy got our hand in everybody else's affairs and we got our own shit fucked up. Yeah. It's like, you need to get America straight first before you go trying to involve yourself with uh, with uh, uh, foreign affairs. It's like... Bro, they said that they were... Uh, you know, I just went to Cali like two, three weeks ago 
And so they said they're going to bring the the refugees. The, I think the Cali mayor or something or whoever whoever the top nigga is over there said uh, that they were going to bring the re- they could bring the refugees over there. Now I just went to Cali. You niggas got a million and a half niggas on Skid Row that y'all need to put up somewhere or help or do something. Like they even when I was watching the news in my hotel, it was about the homeless overtaking all the parks. So all mm. the like all the people who live because like, you know normally if you have a house or something in a subdivision or whatever, there's like mm. a, a park or whatever right, right, right. that you pay your HOA fees for and all that. So mm. the homeless people are taking over there. So like people don't and you know I. I I heard that like the homeless people over there like are dangerous or whatever. I mean, there's dangerous people everywhere, but I think it's a little bit more over there because there's so many people. So, so many. It's probably, they're probably fighting for whatever yeah. they could get or whatever. So I don't know, man. Like I, I don't want to say don't do that, but that's where I go back to. We need to fix shit here, man. Yeah, yeah. It's we keep uh, giving outs to other people or whatever, and like shit, we helping the Taliban by taking the people out that. Those could be the people that can start a revolution over there and get rid of them niggas themselves. Right, right. But we trying to do it with other motives and like, I don't know, man. That when you get when you get into that shit, it's like a rabbit hole, man. Yeah, it's, it's a rabbit hole, and that's what I was gonna say, man. It's it's a it's a it's a continuous tunnel, man. You you looking for the light at the end of the tunnel, but you ain't gonna find it because it's so many different variables and things that go into this. You know, on one hand, you got people saying, <clears throat> "Well, these are people in need. We need to help them. We're able to do it." And then you got other people who are like, well, I see this fucked up over here. You got people out on the street or people just in need over here. They ain't even take care of. So how are you going to bring hundreds of thousands of other people over just to add to that mixing pot? And then the people are going get, to get offended and pissed off because, okay, y'all giving more aid to these people coming over here. Yep. And the people that's over here still suffering. So it's like, it's like, it's one of them things where it's like, and then America has already gone down this path numerous times before. So it's like, on one hand, they can't change it up now and say, no, 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 no. But then it's like, if they continue, you're just fucking up even more. So it's like... Now they're doing the whole pointing game, saying... I saw, and sometimes you can't... Bro, y'all can't believe all the memes y'all see on Facebook and shit. That's just... Yeah, yeah, I can go yeah. up there and write right now that Reagan is the one who did such and such, or Obama <laughs> did such and such, or Trump did such and such. Yeah. So I don't know who it was, because I saw one where it said Obama lit the nigga that's in control out right now and then I saw one where they said Trump let out the guy who's probably going to be in control yeah, yeah. Uh, that were Taliban prisoners or, or whatever so look man I I don't try to I should understand it more but I like that shit gives me a headache just trying to even yeah. think about all that negative shit that's why I don't like political stuff you don't see me do that a lot with my content like if it's something like regarding my people then like I'm gonna stand up on it but all that other Bullshit that be going on, I stay away from that because it just it's it's a headache, man. I'm all about positivity, and I'd rather just be a good person and try to put you know be an example to other people so yeah. that maybe they want to be a better person, or be better people, or just make people laugh who maybe deal with this shit on the daily. And then when they come to my page, yeah, they see me yeah. in my draws acting a fool, and it give them a good little laugh or something. So I mean, it's one of them things where it's like. Who knows the falsehoods, the truths, the conspiracies. At the end of the day, my my favorite saying that I made up is we're all a bunch of unknowns trying to figure out the known. What the fuck? Man, don't start that shit again, man. <laughs> he thought I was gonna cut Damn, you about to cut me off. He thought I was gonna cut him off. <laughs> nah, hey. nah, look, man. World fucked up, man. I'm gonna keep putting out this company, man. Hopefully I can get famous before my edge up get to the back of my fucking neck. <laughs> Because I, I already know I only got like What 30 some thousand On Instagram I know if I get up to 100 Them niggas finna eat me alive In the comments I got all these guns Hey 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 That's good though Go ahead and put the disclaimer Out there now Go ahead and Hey pull an M&M Go ahead and Say all the things That can be said about you Bro I'm still afraid To go on TikTok And look at that one comment Where the person said My teeth were lowercase And my gums were capital <laughs> That comment, probably, that comment probably got, man, easily, easily 20,000 likes. And I just, I can't hey, go look at it. Whoever said that, y'all funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> so, but nah, man. Lowercase uh, teeth and uppercase gums. 
Was you got anything up, bro? Before we get up out of here? Nah, man. As usual, man. We appreciate the support, man. Just keep rocking with us. Spread the word. Like, share, comment. Be careful of comments. Don't bash us too much. You know. Uh, nah, fuck that disengagement. Say what the <laughs> fuck you want. Talk about me all goddamn day. I need all that engagement. Ah. But nah, man. As always, stay creative. Man, hold up. If we end up at our destination If you're looking for a laugh Or you just need to smile Whatever that you need to make you laugh out loud It's the Creatives Podcast Listen, it's the Creatives Podcast Yeah, yeah